Let the hunt begin. Your soul shall be mine. Huh. Undertaker Haunted Creeper is pretty good. Knife Juggler is a strong card to go with that. I should be afraid he goes turn one Undertaker. What's my best play against turn one Undertaker with this hand? Turn one Creeper into Juggler? No. My own turn one Undertaker? Too risky. This is a hand that would be much better if I were going first. Well, not necessarily because then you get Undertaker coin and then guy. But then I have the. <sighs> I need Chow. This is a tough, tough, tough choice. X Rub asks, what do you think is the most underrated card? Zombie Chow, I think. Jiggish asks, why did you decide to go face instead of taking out Knife Juggler with Doom Guard? Uh, to kill him faster. Grumpy asks, do you think Sludge Belcher needs a nerf like Novice, being run in pretty much 90% of the decks? No, I think it's a really good um, anti-aggro card, and considering aggro is running this world right now, it's certainly one to want to nerf the anti-aggro card. Also, I'll point out that Zoo is not running the deck, or the card. And I would also argue that it is not being run in 90% of the decks. Which is simple enough to ascertain because Zoo is more than 10%. The value to him. Your best chum asks, at what level is aggro running the world? I've been running into nothing but control decks from 20 to 15. I mean, I would argue that aggro should be prevalent in quite a lot of the levels right now. I and you can build a dedicated anti-aggro deck, and you would probably get a favorable matchup. Be explosive. It's snake. Put this apple on your head. Why do you fall? Snake. Neocall asks with of the mage decks, what do you prefer? Mage secrets or frost mage? I think both are uh, pretty good. I myself like the f like if I were to choose a deck right now, I'd choose Mage Seeker. I would I would choose neither because hunters are in the format. I'd choose aggro mage, which is the third deck. Although I think that's weaker than zero right now. Neon or Cat asks, do you think Undertaker should be nerfed to at least a 1-1? One, one? Isn't it too strong to basically get a 1 mana yeti in the course of three turns? Well, there's the drawback where the Undertaker is really, really bad in the late game. And we saw that happen a few times in the BlizzCon qualifiers where like a death rattle priest would top deck that in the late game and it would be terrible. But I have to imagine that Undertaker is a card that's on Blizzard's watch list right now. Say, Gas, if you had to say in how Buzzer is nerfed, what would you change the stats and mana cost to? I'd probably make it a 4 mana 2-2. Two, two. Okay, I posit that that one is the explosive trap, which means I'll lose these two guys. Snakes, though. Mm. Snakes are a problem. So I killed two of the snakes. I mean, I can't go to the game without ever attacking. Without ever not attacking. If this is um, Freezing Trap, then fine. You got me. I meant not to play anything into explosive trap.
out, you're dead. Put this apple on your head. Oh man, if it's doggies. It's not doggies. Eh, knifey though. Ugh, that's a tough draw. I think it's Doom Guard, anyways. Who dares me? So I didn't get rid of that primarily. Tough. Bonus, what would you change Nose Dormu's effect to? I wouldn't touch the card. It's a fine design. I don't understand people's obsession with wanting to change a fine card. The good news is I have the metagame call correct, I think. The bad news is, well, I do need to figure out which side is favored between Zoo and Hunter. Let the hunt begin. Your soul shall be mine. If you told me this was going to be the metagame after the starving buzzard nerf, I would say you were really dumb. So color me extremely surprised. But at least it has settled into a metagame, which I can now seek to exploit. Huh, opponent kept all three cards. I think I've just been drawing, uh, I've been up against opponents which have had very good hands. It's like, how do they always, no, no they don't always have. I can't play the Undertaker here. He kept all the cards, so he's got to have a Death Rattle follow up. Um, Coin Egg has no follow up. This is rough times. Pass. Hmm. Turns out Undertaker would have been extremely strong. Alright, well. Bring out your dead. Since I get to play a 2-3 Undertaker, I'll take the opportunity then. Why would he... Hmm. It's also possible he thinks I'm Hemlock, based on my turn 1 pass. Kill command. Did he keep his entire hand? I thought that you was something that happened. The sun well. Coyote suggests a change to Undertaker, which make him a 1-3 and only buff attack. That is arguably a buff on the Undertaker. I would find that rather terrifying. My shield for Arthur! Call asked, do you think Miracle Rogue is still a valuable deck for ladder? Yes, I do. 
I'd want to ask, is there going to be an arena guide for next cards? Someday, comma, probably. Nijanon asked, how did you know he wouldn't have a bow, or do you think trading an Undertaker for a bow charges value? Well, the mentality is actually rather simple. You have to play cards. You can't never not play a three health minion. What? To my side. Well, you could do that, but then you would probably lose. It doesn't matter what secret that is, it's bad against Doomguard. On turn two, why didn't I just play the egg without the coin? Is it too slow? Well, I think that it was a good move to play to use the coin to develop an extra two three. One mana two three is a good deal. Hmm. Bring out your dead. Greetings, traveler. I greet you. Oh, I'm collecting a lot of good data. Uh, which is that there are a lot of hunters. Uh, and. I don't know whether Zoo is favored or unfavored against it, but testing, yo. Hmm. My mentality. For general countering strategy has always been rather simple. Try to build a deck that is their deck but slightly slower, slightly bigger, and that's the effect of zombie chow. And I think a soul fire is good here. Uh, or I could wonder. simply trade away the flame imp. Nah. Put this apple on your head. The flame imp trade is good against explosive traps. If he doesn't play a secret here, I'll have a tremendous advantage. But if he does play one, and it's explosive trap, it'll be a big setback. It doesn't matter what secret that is. I think it's too costly to try to attack right now. I mean, he could bluff me with Snake Trap. And then he's basically gained 7 health for free. But I'm not a betting kind of man in this position. Aphelion asks, what would you say is the most important thing to bear in mind when building a deck? Um, I'd say the most important thing, like on the higher level, is making sure it beats the most popular decks out there. Has this Really this is the way that I can max the damage onto the Leon. As you command. You got me. Bring out 
Watch your dead. Trap trick. It is really nice in this matchup where you don't have to worry about Buzzard Unleash anymore. This is why I theorized that Zoo would be stronger. It is certainly stronger against Hunter now. So should it not be favored? So I'm very surprised that Hunter is a thing if Zoo exists. Orbiseus, uh, or Oribiseus asks, I'm sure you've gotten this question a million times, what did you think of the NA qualifiers yesterday? Specifically, I'd like to, I'd be curious to hear your thoughts on Terre's decks. Um, my general perception of, well, I thought the qualifiers were produced well. I thought the rogue deck was weak. Um, that's pretty much my main thought if you have any more specific questions. I thought Terre's rogue deck was weak, although it was very unique of course, uh, but feel free to ask a more specific question. Gul'dan versus Malfurion! I must protect the wild. Your soul shall be mine! Hmm. Disappointing hand. Burn Toast asked that I watched the tournament that Crip hosted. What did you think of the quality of the stream? Uh. We must cleanse the Sunwell. Well, I mean, if you're going to ask about the quality of the stream, it was disappointingly poor. Though I'm sure that's not really a controversial opinion. Uh, yes, I watched it. Crip repeatedly made fun of it. He kept it real by emphasizing the limitations that he had. I feel for him. It's uh, not an easy event to run. I sympathize, is what I should have said. So many possibilities. Uh, looks like I can kill it. What if I go double juggle? I'll throw four knives, which means on average, uh, two damages on that. But sometimes it's three. <clears throat> if it is two damage, that's a disaster. Oh, but my second juggler gets a juggle. All right, let's try. This Karen is going to death rattle second, so I have to do this one. Okay. Stop. I must safeguard the land. Thank you. 
Asks, what do you do with the names I write on the whiteboard after stream? I erase them? Is that the proper answer to your question? Alright, no more stars. Here comes the hard part. Let the hunt begin. Your soul shall be mine. Come on, chow. Chow, 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 chow. Imp, alright. This was almost looking to be one of those turn one, pass turn two, tap hands. The terror. Bring out your dead. Welcome, Cinder Reg, the Valley Tim. It's a fine draw. Why do you I'll show them. I'll show them all. LaRue asks, what do you think of Void Terror and Sea Giant Sin Tzu? Um It's an edgy way to do it. I think it makes it less consistent. And I think Void Terror and Sea Giant in particular is better in a meta of control. Uh, and that is not this meta. From my less than 10 games of experience, granted, but. Gotta reduce the damage incoming. I think I'll be in a good position to test for a trap. Maybe snipe in a dream world. Would be nice. Patrice asks, given how control EU qualifiers was and how aggro US qualifiers was, and they each saw the other, how do you think the meta at BlizzCon will look? Okay, um, I think this is a misconception right now. I don't believe it's EU is a control meta and US is a aggro meta. I believe it's a mm, first of all, trap. <laughs> Test, I guess. This way. If it's snakes, that'll be a really bad time. <sighs> I could defender of Argus and pass. Test by attacking. I if I knew what it was, power overwhelming trade would be really strong. I guess that would be strong against snakes and explosive. Alright. Freezing. I don't think I can really afford to tap anymore. Pinter Vargas saves me the 5 health. But I think it will save me more in the future. This is a rough game. Sindaraj asks, is it possible for Molten Giants to work in Zoo decks? No, because they'll usually get discarded by Doom Guards and Soul Fires. Oh, that's a rough card. Hmm. Hmm. Can't kill him fast enough is the main problem. My seal for Argus! Almost out of time. Feliones, do you think of using a stone tusk boar as a trap springer? Well, one of the players at BlizzCon qualifier did try that in Miracle Rogue. 
It's an interesting idea. I think it's too specific. Card is too bad against other decks that aren't the hunter. Well played. You win this time. I will fight with honor. Your soul shall be mine. Okay. Uh a good hand. Not just a good hand, but an excellent hand. It's not the best it could possibly be, but it's up there. Oh, Kalento is also using Zia. What, um, is the change that he's got? I imagine he's not running Chao. But who knows, maybe Kalento has also seen the way of the Chao. Seeing this play uh, lets me realize just how Ugh, is this really necessary? just how bad Paladins have it currently. Buffing this guy is pointless because uh, it'll die to the True Silver. I want to play around True Silver and I want to play around Consecration. Is that possible? What if I do Shattered on this and no, that doesn't play around Consecration. Shattered on this is that best? Almost out of time. Knife juggler attack? No, it's ridiculous. Spend the mana efficiently. So many I hope he doesn't have true silver. Uh, Tough turn. I think Zoo does have uh, important decisions, and it has increasingly been. I've increasingly fa fallen into the camp which Not believes that is a very minor. Oversight in the early game causes you to lose, Azu. Like, not even a misplay, but My not considering all the options in the early game. In very invisible ways. Oh, Kalento is playing Chow and Leper Gnome. That's actually something I'd considered. Wait, so what does he not have? No Sun Cleric or Power Overwhelming. Okay. Uh, that. That definitely makes sense to me. Let the pain speak to me. Reporting for duty. Okay. Oh, goody. Played around the three damage to everything, or the two plus one. Come on. Yes. Your magic shall not see. Reporting for duty. 